I used to love Baywatch. Did you years ago, isn't it? Beautiful women in Baywatch. Yeah. So, first up to audition for Carmen is her biggest fan, Bradley, and his good friend Barbara. Howdy. 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 Uh, what are you called? I'm Barbara. Barbara. And this is Bradley. And together you are? Barbara, Barbara and Bradley. Bradley. Barbara and Bradley. Well, how long did you come, uh, take to come up with the name? Well, that's my name and that's Bradley's name. Oh, right. I've been writing poetry. It all started when I had a Siamese cat and it died. And I wrote about it. And uh, also, I was on the Kilroy show about unrequited love. We were going to be called the Owl and the Pussycat. I think Bradley looks like a great big owl. <laughs> you know, twisting about. Uh -oh. and, and you can't talk about someone as being an animal. It's ridiculous. You look like animals. Yeah, but, but you don't say that. Don't you understand everyone? It's, it's, it's offensive. I wouldn't say to my mum, oh, you're a cow. No, not a cow, no. While Barbara's doing her special talent, which is poetry, I'm going to be doing my special talent, which um, will hopefully um, add and bring Barbara's poetry back to life. Well, listen, Hammersmith and London is waiting for you. Ready to do it? Ready? Fantastic. Yeah. Good luck. Bye, thank you. Good luck out there. Have fun, enjoy it. Thanks. Hello, Simon and everyone. What's your name? My name is Barbara, and this is my friend Bradley. Hi. And uh, what are you here to do today? Well, I'm going to recite my poem that was nominated Poet of the Year in Vegas, but I didn't bother to go. And, uh... <laughs> are you guys more than friends? Uh, I don't know what we are, really, but we're not in any relationship because he looks like an owl, doesn't he? <laughs> well, I'm not going to have a relationship with an owl. <laughs> Okay, so the answer is no. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, good luck. Thank you. April weeps to dawn's last blossom. Willow trees sway softly under still night. Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. We're here at the London auditions. Clouds hide behind fine lace. Passing angels hold passionate embrace. Shine, tranquil <coughs> earth, diamond of my soul. <coughs> Until you cover my existence, be happy. Let's drink the wine to life. Um, can I ask you a question? Have you ever seen what he's doing behind you? Yes. You have? But because I don't look, I let him get on with it. Right. <laughs> what do you think about this interesting performance here? Well, you're certainly unique. Uh, Maybe you should take some dance classes, Bradley. <laughs> I thought it was... Uh, it really brought a tear to my eye, what you did. It was very... <laughs> very mean, moving. What, what brought the poem? Did it you... was moving. Yes. All right, well, look, we're going to vote. Come on. It's going to be a no from me. David, you've created a new genre of performance, dancetry, dance and poetry together, and I would like to see more of it, so I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I, on the other hand, would not like to see it again. No. It's a no from me, guys. This is shame. Um, well, I'd like to combine the two together in a slightly different way, poetry and dance, and call it pants. So, I'm going to say absolutely no. I don't want to see that again. OK. Anyway, thank you very much for even looking at us. Is that it all now? Well, we don't know, because... If it's on the television, you don't know who's going to see us again. Oh, okay. So okay. It might lead I mean, to... this would is this millions of pounds worth of publicity? You couldn't wish for better publicity. Yeah, you could. Oh. So how did you enjoy it? What did you think? Well, I couldn't see their faces really, and I couldn't hardly hear them. I oh, really. Yeah. 